Okay, guys, we're here today for Lachlan Giles. Huge honor for me. Guys, this is one week after the ADCC, and I think he was the biggest like uh, breakthrough in the ADCC. So he just got third place in the open class, weighing like 76 kilos, which is like 167 pounds or something like that. So that, that, I, I told him that that was probably like one of the biggest like grappling scenes that I ever saw in my life was him tapping the three opponents that he tapped with the same move. And uh, guys, today we, we're gonna make a video here to help you out with the five tips to pass anyone's guard no gi. Okay, and guys, uh, make sure you watch it to the end because the last tip is amazing. And uh, I really, really enjoyed learning, especially the last one. But uh, let's do this, uh, walk on. All right, um, so we'll give you like five, five tips to, to try to pass the guard. Um, and we'll kind of go through in almost in order of like when I want to be looking for these things. Okay, so the first thing, we've got Bernardo in front of me. I don't want any part of his feet, like the soles of his feet, I don't want him to be able to contact anywhere on my torso really. Because no matter how good my grip is that I have with my upper body, he can just immediately kick away. He's, that's too strong of a positioning to have. So almost always when I'm coming in, I'm controlling the shins, okay? I think probably one of the biggest mistakes people make is they hold the knees. The knees, Bernardo can pummel and circle his feet really well, okay? If I control the shins or the ankles and I put some weight on, it's much harder for Bernardo to put his feet in front of me, okay? And when I do this, actually, I don't just push back because he can fight that. I actually push like a little bit outwards, okay? It's, it kind of like makes it hard to circle the foot in this way, okay? Because I'm pushing like a little outwards, yeah? Then once I'm there, I can start finding angles so that I'll, I'll bypass both of these legs. So we can start to go around to here, for example, okay? Um, so we can start going around and we close the gap. And I want to get to the point where now Bernardo's not going to get that foot back in contact with me, okay? The second tip is going to be to try to get inside positioning with your legs on their legs, okay? So I think generally in, in Nogi in particular, the issue is often the ability of the person to make space. The person on the bottom, like you can do all this work and then they just like push you off or hip escape and they, they free themselves, okay? So that's why it can be harder to pass around the legs like this in, in Nogi because of that. But uh, if we can get inside positioning with our legs, so I can pummel my left foot inside and get to a position like this, it becomes very hard for Bernardo to, to escape. So you can oh, see yeah. I've, got my, I've got my knee and my shin on top of this leg and I flare my foot out. Look at that, so see how Bernardo's foot is floating? It's very hard to hip escape like that, as opposed to being like this. Here yeah. he can move. Okay. Yeah. So I'm inside positioning, but also blocking that leg from posting on the ground. You can see my other legs, my torso and everything is just like, making it difficult for this leg to, to come back in and, and bother me here, okay? So we're clearing the, not letting them uh, attach with the soles of their feet, and then we're usually working to pummel for inside positioning to here, okay? Now I wanna get upper body control. And actually, if I can get inside positioning on the arm, that's arms, that's really good, or like inside positioning on the torso, okay? Because if I get here, Bernardo can't bump me forward. One of the biggest problems is you go to get pressure, and then you have to post on the mat, and then I start losing and Bernardo can work to the lower body. So I can stay low here and start like hand fighting for inside positioning. One of my favorite little uh, grip fights is Bernardo wants to control inside positioning on my, if he holds my wrist like this, I can't get good positioning. So what I often do is I put coming with my arm behind my back and then I put my hand like this. You watch this, if Bernardo goes to fight with this hand, I will always win the inside. Man, that's, that's a great idea. Yeah. If I try and reach like this, he will always win the inside space. So I put my elbow tight, look, always gonna win that battle. That's amazing, okay. Michael. I can pin the arm now, and I'm fine with that, or I can then post inside, okay? So we're here, hand comes in, and I can work to get control here, all right? The next thing we'll talk about, we'll turn around. So after we gain inside control, we then wanna start blocking the hip. Turn a little more. So we're looking to basically finish the pass now. I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is they go too high on the upper body and then they pass and the person recovers their legs. So they go like, you know, like this, they get to side control and I have no control of the hips and I have to deal with the legs again, okay? I want to, especially with my, if I get an underhook, 
I almost always want to have it down near the, the hip line. Okay, now when I pass and Bernardo starts trying to hip escape, I'm blocking that well with my, my arm and I can start consolidating and, and finishing the pass. There are exceptions where we will be quite high, but generally I'll want to be stuck to the hip before I pass. And then the last tip is start to use submissions to, uh, it, well, one, to, to try to threaten uh, submissions so that you can try to get the submission, uh, but also it's gonna set up a lot of your guard passes. For example, we'll go back to the start. Bernardo is keeping his feet in front. If I can start looking for heel hooks here, uh, now he starts to keep his feet inside and he's taken away that problem that I had wanted at the, at the beginning. Right? Yeah. Now I can start coming in and getting inside positioning myself. Uh, from here, I can start looking for the neck as well, trying to dive on headlocks, especially if, if Bernardo starts winning underhooks, like I can start exchanging that for, for, um, for chokes. And then again, now he's going to keep his head back and he's more likely to give me space to... So you use the submissions to, of course, to get the submission or to open up space to keep passing? He's, yeah, exactly. So it's like, uh, you want to give him two bad options. Okay, <laughs> Essentially, okay. Uh, uh, to get submitted or, or to have to really defend the submission and then open up. I got it. So pass. look, quick uh, recap here. So first, you try to get rid of the legs, making yeah. sure like, don't control the not controlling the knee, controlling the sh kind of like the shin. Yeah. Then two, we try, you try to kind of control the person's arm to make sure you can get inside. Yeah, uh, the legs first, I try and get inside positioning on the legs. And yeah. then, and then um, yeah. Yeah, so first thing, uh, just a quick recap here. Yeah, so yeah. first thing, you control the legs and you try to get rid of the legs, great. Yeah. Then second thing, you try to get inside with both legs, great. Yeah. Then third one, you control my arm using that detail. Yes. Great. Then fourth, you control my hip instead of just controlling the upper body and go for the pass. Yeah. And fifth, you play around with submissions as yeah. well instead of just passing. Yeah. So anytime I see blocks or a chance to go for a submission, of course I will because it's going to uh, yeah. either, either get it or you open something up. Man, that's amazing. So guys, uh, Lachlan has two guard passing instructions at bjfanatics.com. One is the guard passing ontology half guard. And the other one is the body lock passing. So both of them are amazing. And uh, we, we actually just launched the body lock, body lock passing like last week and it, it's selling like really, really well. So a lot of people are enjoying that a lot. So make sure to check that out. Two great guard instructional passings for no gi. And uh, thanks so much for coming. Thank Welcome. you, Benetta. Really, really enjoyed it a lot. Thank you, guys. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.